So I don't know if you knew this, but there is a brand new episode of Invincible out. It's not the first episode of season two. It's actually like a a, a, a one-off special event episode. It's basically an origin story for Adam Eve. It's up on Amazon Prime now, so go watch it. I'm going to do a spoiler discussion about it. Um, so yeah, this basically shows Adam, Adam Eve's life as, uh, you know, it shows when she was born and it shows her her childhood and how she discovered her powers and became a superhero and all of that. And yeah, it was, it was really cool. So, um, it shows her birth, which is very tragic because her mom was basically a, a lab test lab subject. They were like trying to birth a a perfect superhero, which is just a horrifying, (laughs) horrifying thing to do. Um, and yeah, so as she was born, her mom died. And then, yeah, there's this weird like scientist guy that, like realized that what he was doing was immoral which is like weird because it's like they they try to play the character off and it's like man once i saw what they were doing to your mom i realized that what i'm doing is kind of cringe and it's like that's the point where you grew a conscience okay (laughs) i guess um i felt like the scientist guy could have been written a bit better but um but yeah then he, he he decides to take he swaps out invincible's baby for like a dead baby which is just super dark the fact that i guess there was a baby that there was a failed pregnancy and so he swaps out the dead baby for eve so that the government thinks that eve's mom and eve died during the both died during the pregnancy and that some that that random couple can raise eve very bizarre such a just a dark premise right there um but yeah and then yeah so Eve's parents believe that she is their kid pretty much and uh and yeah and and, you know she has a very troubled childhood because she's very just not a normal kid right she's very all she cares about are like her Legos and building sort of atoms because that's like what she can see because of her powers it's she's basically a weird kid and her parents are struggling with with it um her shitty dad is just so shitty (laughs) just what a shitty dad i don't know um and uh, although i will say it's the it's this it's that weird thing do you remember fant four stick the fantastic four movie when uh reed richards he like builds this amazing contraption for the science fair and her and his teachers are like what the fuck reed richards you fucking loser what even is that and it's like bro because I think it like blew up or something. It's like this child has I like who maybe you don't even understand what it is he built, but he clearly built something amazing. What why what do you why is why is nobody like going up to him and like like congratulating him and encouraging him and it was just like so weird. So it's like Adam Eve like she like is clearly like a super genius and her parents are like no, you gotta stop playing with Legos, and you gotta play with normal toys. And it's like, what are you talking? She she just knows the periodic table, so that was that was just weird. And it's like I get that her parents are like supposed to be shitty, but that's just so abnormally shitty <laughs> of like what a normal human response would be. But anyways, yeah, she grows up weird, um, and then she like makes this friend, and then her friend like abandons her because she has powers, which is like. I don't know. I guess that is kind of a normal response because at Eve like scares her friend with her powers. Um, but yeah, and then I was kind of expecting for that friend to come around at some point, and she doesn't. <laughs> she just like yeets, she just yeets herself out of Eve's life. Um, so that was kind of sucky. But um, but yeah, and then you know she she grows up a bit more and she decides to become a superhero, and and yeah she. It kind of all culminates to the point where she becomes a superhero and the government realizes, oh, that's the baby. Well, look at that. And then she sends the other test subjects out to go get her. And I I will say, though, the other complaint that I have about this uh, about this episode is that Eve just immediately starts fighting the the test subjects, even when she learns that they're technically her brothers. And it's like. I don't know. I feel like Eve should have been a bit more sympathetic. I feel like it would have been better for Eve to like try to befriend them and then they attack her anyways out of anger. I feel like that would have been a better way of going about it, but 
because because it's not even like e it's not even that eve like immediately starts trying to subdue them it seems like she's trying to like kill them <laughs> aggressively and arrogantly and it's like and i guess she is kind of arrogant because she you know she thinks she's like a superhero but i don't know I, th- she could have had a bit more sympathy in that situation i feel like um and then yeah and then she like gets captured and she gets taken to the fucking place and then they it's so dark that she that we learn that eve's mom has been like barely kept alive so that she could keep on birthing babies i don't even know how that works if you could birth babies when you're barely alive freaking just horrifying (laughs) um and yeah so they they get through that eve ends up like killing uh or technically she doesn't kill the government guys she just like erases their memory um which is weird i feel like if she was gonna kill anybody in this episode she should have killed those dudes i don't i'm actually not sure why she kept the government agents alive um but yeah because then the guy the government agents killed the the scientist guy that 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 saved her as a child um still i don't still don't like that guy it's like really you, you, oh yeah you you changed your morality because for whatever reason it's like no at no point before the 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 mother's complications at no point before then did you think that any of this was wrong um but uh but yeah and then then she goes back home and she her parents are still shitty although as shitty as they are they did remember her birthday which i thought was a nice touch because she is she just assumed that they forgot um so that was that was actually pretty pretty sweet but even still they couldn't appreciate that sweet moment you know so that that, that uh, it was just very sad so it's like uh, yeah as, as as happy as i am that invincible is is back just a very sad episode um but uh, but still overall enjoyable even with the with my complaints i still really liked it um really glad that the show is back and cannot wait for season two so let me know what you thought about this special adam eve episode whatever and uh i will see you in the next video goodbye <laughs>